Hi everyone, I'm Agent Reed and welcome to Tech Tips. Here in the lab, we know today's homes have more connected devices than ever before. That means having a strong, consistent Wi-Fi signal across every room in the house is critical to keeping them all running harmoniously. So today, I'm going to show you how to set up the Orbi Mesh Wi-Fi system to enhance your home's signal strength and coverage. To set it up, you need the Orbi Mesh Wi-Fi system. It includes a router and two satellites. You'll need a connected working modem and a smartphone with the Orbi app installed on it. Now, if you're new to mesh systems, the benefit of a satellite is that it essentially boosts your Wi-Fi signal in areas of your home that are further away from your router. Whether you need more or fewer satellites will depend on the size and layout of your home. Today, we'll be using two. For this demonstration, we'll assume you've got the Orbi app installed and ready to go. But if you don't, hit pause and do that first. I'll wait for you. First, disconnect your router from your modem and its power source. This will shut down your current Wi-Fi signal. Next, make sure the Wi-Fi on your smartphone is turned on but not connected to any other Wi-Fi networks. The setup won't work properly if you are. During this demonstration, we'll connect to the internet using our smartphone's data. It can be done offline if needed, but the setup screens will appear in a different order than the ones in this video. When you open your Orbi app for the first time, review the terms and conditions and accept them if you agree. Next, we'll need to give the Orbi app access to our location. Tap Allow to do that. At this point, your phone will ask for permission to share your location with the app. If you agree, choose Allow. Then tap Get Started. On the next screen, log into your Netgear account or create it if you don't have one yet. To create your account, enter your name and email. Create a password, then tap Continue. Choose whether you want to enable two-step verification. We recommend you do for added security. But for this demonstration, we'll select Maybe Later. Once you've created your account, tap Done. When the app asks you if you want to install a new Netgear product, select Yes. On the QR code screen, go ahead and enable the camera. Then allow it to take pictures and videos so it can scan the QR code on your router. Now, you'll need to unplug and reboot your modem. Once you've plugged it back in, press Next. Then, you'll be prompted to connect the Orbi router to your modem. Use the included Ethernet cable to connect them. Plug the router in, then tap Next to continue. From there, you'll see a diagram showing examples of where to place your satellites in your home relative to the router. In general, you'll want to place them in areas that are a bit further away from the router, and also in areas where there's heavier Wi-Fi device usage. Variables like the number of walls in your home and the materials they're made of can impact router signal strength. So you may have to experiment with placement to find what works in your home. Once you place your satellites, connect the power cord and plug them in. After all your satellites are plugged in, you can tap the next button. It may take a few minutes for your Orbi satellite to power up. While it does, let's pause for a quiet moment of reflection. Oh. Hmm. That was nice. Okay, now the router will detect and connect to your network. This may also take a couple of minutes. Perfect. Now, Orbi will detect the satellites. Once it does, tap Continue. Now, it's time to personalize your network settings. Tap Next. Here, you can customize the network name and password you use to connect to your Wi-Fi. For now, we'll use the default and tap Next. On the next screen, you'll set up your admin user login. For security reasons, we recommend using a different password than the one you log into Wi-Fi with. Now, you'll select and answer some security questions. My youngest sister's name is Sarah. You know what? I should give her a call later. Next, the Orbi will check for new firmware. 
If there's a new update available, tap Update. If not, tap Next. And now, you're up and running. Tap Next to complete the setup. Now the Orbi app will auto-install Netgear Armor. You have the option of purchasing a subscription once the trial period expires. Beyond that, your setup is complete. That's it. Your home is better connected and your Wi-Fi Shangri-La is ready to enjoy. If you need more help, or if you would like our Geek Squad team to come out and do this for you, schedule an appointment at the link below. And as always, if you have questions, leave them in the comment section and we'll get back to you. And if you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more tips and help from Best Buy. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.